Hello, beautiful, beautiful humans. Hi, hi, hi. How are you feeling? How are you doing? How are you being? I'm coming on because I want to share with my own voice the power that has been moving through the spaces that I've been holding. Oh, Lee, where do I even begin? So I have been announcing that we have a new face for the portal of love, that we have shifted the energy of inner circle and now it's called Shiguru Seeds. And I want to speak to both of these places because of how I truly believe they are a gift. They are a gift to the world. They are potentially a gift for you. So the portal of love, I created this space at the end of 22 because I wanted to welcome more women in bigger numbers aside from kind of my more my most intimate mentorship or one-on-one -on -one, I thought how can I bring this to more women and so the portal of love was created really from that desire and it has evolved very quickly over the last year and what I've seen inside of that space is it is the place that you come when you are wanting to deepen in your trust, to raise your standards, and to have the men in your life, the one that's already there, the one that's coming in, meet you in that level of trust. And that journey takes time. That's why I've decided for this journey, it is a minimum of one year to come in and explore what is in the way of you using your voice how you want to use your voice to create more connection in your relationship, how you want to adjust and raise your standards to only allow in, use that feminine discernment to only allow in the relationships that are in alignment with your highest vision, the way your soul yearns to experience and receive and share her love. To have a place where you can be in sisterhood on this journey and talk about your deepest, darkest shadows and also talk about your biggest, most expansive desires and have all of that be accepted and all of it be beautiful and all of it be okay. And one of my favorite, one of my most favorite things about the way I coach is that we can go into some really deep places and still allow it to feel light, which is also a reflection of how it gets to be in your relationships as well, that you can be moving through some really deep, heavy stuff, and it can still feel light, and it can still feel expansive, and it can still feel joyful and connected. And so the portal of love is a space to come and rise, to deepen in your feminine and to rise in your trust and to have the masculine meet you there, to experience your love and relationships the way you've been dreaming of it, to have space to be coached every month, move through heart activations that will really activate your heart portal. That's why it's called the portal of love. To have spaces to ask your questions, to come into all the master classes that I host in a year. No question of, oh, do I want to purchase this other thing? It's like, it's included for you. You're invited. There's a front row seat for you. So when you enter the portal right away, you have access to embodied boundaries, courageous communication, the money love connection, sovereign love, secure, and so many more of these incredible masterpieces of masterclasses. And then we will guide you for a year on this journey of delivering programs in a way that will really serve you to keep deepening into yourself and rising in that trust. So we price this in a way that can be accessible for most while also still honoring the depth and the value of what you receive, not only during, but what is going to become of you on the other side. You know, I think one of our women who came in and she had been separated from her husband for eight months. And within three months, they are back together, selling their home, traveling the world. I think of another woman who, when we first met, she had never experienced a man consistently showing up and pursuing her. And now, you know, it took about 
I think about seven or eight months into the portal where he's now come into her life and he is consistently showing up and he's moving towards her. And even though there's a part of her that wants to panic through that, she softens and relaxes and opens and allows herself to receive it. I think about one of the women in the portal who, when she came in, she was in a relationship, she's still in that relationship, but now she gets to deepen in the trust that this relationship is moving in a beautiful direction, that she doesn't have to control it. She doesn't have to do all the heavy lifting. She doesn't have to over effort or over function. These are some of the examples of what's possible when we do this work together. And this work really is more like when we journey together. When you can keep remembering and being held to a higher standard and having me and the others hold a mirror up for you. you can really embody feminine energetic, become masterful at this. The mastery really then starts to happen inside of my most intimate mentorship space, which is he who receives. And I invite you to just take a moment to feel into the energy of I am she who receives love, money, pleasure, joy, experiences, expansion, abundance. I am she who receives. So we are lifting the prices on our spaces as of next Tuesday. And my invitation to you is to consider what it costs you to not be the woman who receives, to be the woman who thinks she has to give and do and function and do all the heavy lifting and spin all the plates. And what's possible for you when you allow yourself to be a relaxed woman, to be a relaxed receiver in your relationships, to hold yourself and the men who come into your world to a higher standard, to practice and embody these incredible feminine energetics that already live within you. So if this is calling to you in any way, let's talk. Respond to this email. Send me a message on Instagram. Send me a message on Facebook. I love voice notes. <laughs> if you send me a voice note, I'll be the happiest. And we can explore. We can explore the fears you had around this. We can explore the desires that you have. One of the women who joined you who receives just this week when we first exchanged, she said, I don't know what I want. I'm like, okay, let's start with how to get in touch. What are you experiencing in your relationship that feels hard? Because that is going to point us to what you desire. And through a few back and forth, she found herself just very clearly knowing she is meant to be inside of she who receives. So I'm here for these conversations. Even with the fear, even with the hesitation, it's like, let's just open the door. And if it's not today, maybe it's in a month from now. Maybe it's in a few months from now. So I want to wholeheartedly welcome you to open your heart to the possibility of actually being mentored and supported in this love journey. We are very easy to justify for ourselves different kinds of investments. This is an investment that will pay in, in a compound way for the rest of your life because it will shift who you be in your relationship. So I hope to hear from you. Thank you. If you are still watching this, my heart sends so much love to yours and I hope to speak soon.